Actually, there is a native effect for that, only it's hidden very well. A simple dimple circular wipe transition. How hard can this be? Compared to my previous tutorials, this might be the simplest one yet. What I'm talking about is the circle wipe transition that I suppose every one of us has already created. But what I also guess is that most of us have approached it the complicated way. There is a linear wipe effect and you can do basic shape transitions with the iris effect. But there is no circle wipe effect in the transition category. It seems that you need a paid plugin like Sapphire's wipe circle effect to accomplish such a simple task. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of five ways to create a wipe circle effect. But only one of them, my absolute favorite, is a one effect solution. Animating a mask is a common method to create a circular wipe transition. Just take the ellipse tool and drag on the layer. But not like that. Hold, Ctrl, Alt, Shift to make it a perfect circle. And if you want to position it in the composition center, you need to drag the mask starting precisely from the layer's anchor point, which is a downside if you want it sub-pixel perfect, because there is no mask parameter where you can set the position. And when you animate the mask path to create the wipe, you have to scale the path by eye as there is no attribute to set the size correctly. Setting the size in the mask shape option would require some complex calculations. So what's the workaround? You can create a square solid that sits in the center right from the start. Double click on the ellipse tool that also creates a perfect circular mask and use the solid as an alpha mat for the image. You could animate the mask via the mask expansion, but I prefer to animate the scale because at 0% I know that the layer will totally vanish. If you want the wipe transition inverted, just click on the invert mat checkbox. And if you prefer a soft edge, increase the feather value and reduce the mask expansion by the same amount. Well, it's not the simple one effect solution. So what then is the unique feature of this technique? You could morph the mask path. In this case, you can reset the mask shape to a rectangle. And because the morph animation looks twisted, you can rotate the circle by 45 degrees. Using the CC radial scale wipe effect comes very close to the one layer, one effect solution. We can even reverse the transition. But there is no feather option here. We could use a fast box blur effect instead. But when you apply the effect to an image, it'll create a distortion which looks good per se and which might be something you're looking for. But if you pursue a simple circle wipe transition, you shouldn't use the effect on an image. Besides, it ruins your picture when you feather it with the fast box blur effect. So apply this technique only to plain solids or use it as an alpha mat for the image like we did in the previous mask technique. What about the iris wipe transition? I wouldn't use it as a circle wipe because the maximum number of iris points is limited unless you want something like a photo shutter effect. But I can think of another usage. You can check the use inner radius checkbox and animate a polygon star wipe, which is much easier than accomplishing it with a polygon shape layer. It also has a feather attribute, but unfortunately there is no option to invert the wipe. Here is the easy solution, apply an invert effect to the layer and set channel to alpha. Now comes my favorite technique which I almost use daily. It's my secret circle wipe effect that is actually hidden in the generate category. It's the circle effect which main purpose usually is to generate a simple circle. But when we set the blending mode to stencil alpha, boom, you'll get a circle mask instead. You have options to invert and feather it and you can use the edge radius to create a ring wipe. And this is my everyday circle wipe effect. Use it if you want to create a simple circle wipe transition quick and easy. Because you don't even need a second layer as a matte layer. 
Just for the record, you can of course use a shape layer with an ellipse shape to create a circle wipe transition. It would also be a two-layer technique, but you have precise numeric control over the size. With a black fill, a white stroke and the blending mode set to screen, you can also have a circle wipe with an additional white border. You can also duplicate the ellipse, scale it down, add the merge operator and set to subtract to get a ring wipe. And on top of that, you can add a path manipulation operator like pucker and bloat. I think this is the most versatile technique to create a circle wipe transition. And that's it guys. Did I miss a circle wipe technique? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.